Hey guys and welcome back to No Glam Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials usually with a cosplay twist and today is one of those days. But first I do have a shirt up on Teespring so if you guys want to support the channel get a cool shirt in the meantime I'll have the link down in the description. But back to what you guys are actually here for. <laughs> So to start off for the Sailor Mars look, I start off with a purple eye, eye, eye thing, eyeshadow. And I started putting that into the crease and kind of giving me a V. Um, this one I liked because it had a little bit of red in it. It looks more red in here than it does in, in person. But when I was looking at Sailor Mars's actual uniform, she does have some purple in it. Not as much as what's in this look but that's what the inspiration was and you're gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is nicely blended as well if you need to go back in and apply a little bit more shadow anything like that feel free to do it the whole point is that everything is blended out and it looks nice one tip though if you're having issues with blending out shadows especially purple ones get a transition color that is the closest match to your skin tone and you can kind of cheat with it just put a little bit of that over the edges of whatever color it is that's not blending and it'll make it look a little bit more blended because you'll have something to blend it into now for this one to give it a little bit more color I went in with kind of like a light corally kind of color just on the edges of where the purple is and I blended that out, um, not really because that has anything to do with Sailor Mars, but just because I thought it looked nice. And then once I did that, I went over with just a lighter um, cream colored shade on my lower brow, or brow bone. Anatomy is not my strong suit this morning. <laughs> I took a more iridescent kind of purple and I applied that on the lid. For something like this, you kind of want to use more of a flat type of brush just to pick it up a little bit better. Um, you could use your fingers if you want to. I'm not a huge fan of doing that just because I just don't like doing it. Um, and if anybody's wondering why my eyebrows are look like I have a rash, it's because I use the Kat Von D what was it, the Glimmer Veils or whatever, as um, an eyebrow product, and it actually looks pretty good, but it stains like a mother. <laughs> then I went back in with that purple just in the inner corners to really darken it up a little bit more and make it stand out, and to kind of blend it into that more shimmery kind of color, so it has more of a gradient effect. Now for this part, apparently I decided everybody should use their imagination, but I took some red eyeshadow and I blended that on the lower lash line and brought it out almost like winged eyeliner. And then for the stars, I literally just took some eyeliner and drew them on that way. Actually for this one, I'm pretty sure I used that same red um, because I do remember it smudging at work that day. So if you want it to last a little bit longer, Definitely <laughs> some uh, eyeliner. And then something I was also out of frame for, but you can kind of tell what I was doing, um, is I applied some gold eyeliner just on the inner portion of the eye. This part you can probably get away with doing with um, some gold eyeshadow instead. I like the way it looked though, so no regrets. And then I applied some eyeliner. Um, not really much to say about that one. I'll have a video up. Um, 
it's gonna be next week on Monday. Or I should say the first Monday in February. Um, showing you guys tips and tricks on how to apply like a liquid liner and get it perfect. Um, so if you guys want to see that, you want a reminder for it, don't forget to subscribe and YouTube will let you know for me. And that way you don't have to like remember, it just shows up. It's a thing that happens sometimes. <laughs> and then I applied some false lashes. I'll also have a video on tips and tricks on how to do that next month. So if you guys want to see that, um, definitely stay tuned for it. And my biggest tip when it comes to applying false lashes, just like a spoiler I guess, is let the glue dry enough, it will make your life so much easier. I applied a liquid lipstick. This one's from NARS, so it looks way more liquidy than it actually is. Um, and then just in the center to kind of, I guess, shout out Japanese makeup trends, um, I applied just a little bit of red just in the center and really blended it out just to make it look kind of, almost like a, a stain kind of. But that is the finished look. And before anybody rips me a new one about her colors not being purple, she's even got purple highlights in her hair. So, <laughs> but if you guys did like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next. And let me know who your favorite Sailor Scout is. Mine is probably Mars. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. Bye.